Hi students, welcome to our Max class. Today we are going to learn how to factorize a polynomial completely using factor theorem. Factorize completely. Factorize completely using factor theorem. We already studied the factor theorem. Theorem says that if for a polynomial f of x, if f of a equal to 0, then x minus a is a factor. This is factor theorem. If f of a equal to 0, then x minus a is a factor. Using this theorem, we can factorize a polynomial completely. So, we can start exercise 8b, question number 1. Show that, show that x minus 2 is a factor of x cube minus 2x square minus 9x plus 18. Hence, hence factorize. Hence, factorize the expression x cube minus 2x square minus 9x plus 18 completely. This is question number 1. Show that x minus 2 is a factor of x cube minus 2x square minus 9x plus 18. Hence, Factorize the expression x cube minus 2x square minus 9x plus 18 completely. In the question, first we want to show x minus 2 is a factor. Using factor theorem, we can prove it. Using factor theorem, we can prove it x minus 2 is a factor of x cube minus 2x square minus 9x plus 18. First, we want to write our f of x. Our f of x is x cube minus 2x square minus 9x plus 18. We want to show x minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial. For that, we want to prove f of 2 equals 0. So, we find f of 2. f of 2 equals 2 cube minus 2 into 2 square minus 9 into 2 plus 18 is equal to 8 minus 2 in 2 square is 4, 4 into 2 8 minus 18 plus 18 is equal to positive 8 plus 18, 26, negative 8, negative 18 is negative 26, that is 26 minus 26. Zero. That is f of 2 equals 0. That is f of 2 equals 0. Therefore, x minus 2 is a factor. The second part is factorize the polynomial completely. Factorize the given polynomial completely. For that, first we want to divide the given polynomial by the given factor. That is, divide x cube minus 2x square minus 9x plus 18 by the given factor x minus 2. While dividing, we can find the quotient. First, the first term of the dividend x cube by first term of the divisor x. While dividing, we get x square. x square is the first term of the quotient x square into x, x cube, x square into minus 2, minus 2, x square. Then subtract, subtract we got 0 as here. Then the remaining term, negative 9x plus 18. Then again divide negative 9x by x. We got negative 9 is the second term of the quotient. Then again multiply 9 into x negative 9x, then negative 9 into negative 2, positive 18. By subtracting, we got 0 as the reminder. On dividing, 
x square minus 2x square minus 9x plus 18 by x minus 2. The quotient is the quotient is equal to x square minus 9. Therefore, the given polynomial x cube minus 2x square minus 9x plus 18 is equal to x minus 2 into x square minus 9 is equal to x minus 2 into, again we factor is x square minus 9. We know that x square minus 9 is of the form a square minus b square and factors of a square minus b square are a plus b into a minus b. Similarly, the factors of x square minus 9 are x plus 3 into x minus 3. So, the factors of x square minus 9, x plus 3 x minus 3. So, the, fact, the whole factors of x cube minus 2x square minus 9x plus 18 are x minus 2, x plus 3 and x minus 3. We want to write the factors in the product form only. Now, second question. Question number 2. Show that, show that x plus 5 is a factor of, x plus 5 is a factor of 2x cube plus 5x square minus 28x minus 15. Hence, hence, factorize the expression factorize the expression completely. Show that x plus 5 is a factor of 2x cube plus 5x square minus 28x minus 15. Hence factorize the expression completely. In the first part, in the first part, we want to show x plus 5 is a factor. For that, first we write f of x. Our f of x is 2x cube plus 5x square minus 28x minus 15. Our f of x is 2x cube plus 5x square minus 28x minus 15. We want to, first, in the first part, we want to show x plus 5 is a factor. For that, we find f of minus 5. f of minus 5 is 2 into minus 5 the whole cube plus 5 into minus 5 the whole square minus 28 into minus 5 minus 15 is equal to 2 into 5, negative 5 the whole cube. That is negative 125 plus 5 into negative 5 the whole square is 25 plus 28 into 5. That is 140, positive 140 minus 15 is equal to 125 into 2, negative 250 plus 25 into 5, 125, plus 140, minus 15, is equal to negative 25, 250, negative 15 become negative 265, then 125 plus 140 is positive 265, that is equal to 0, negative 265 plus 265 is equal to 0, that is f of minus 5 equals 0 f of minus 5 is equal to 0. That imply x plus 5 is a factor. First part is over. We, we show x plus 5 is a factor of the given polynomial. Now, the second part, we want to factorize, this, factorize the polynomial completely. For that, first we divide the given polynomial by the given factor x plus 5. Our polynomial 
2x cube plus 5x square minus 28x minus 15. We want to divide this polynomial by the given factor x plus 5. While dividing we get the first term of the quotient is 2x square. 2x square into x. 2x cube. 2x square into 5. 10x square. While subtracting we get negative 2x cube minus 2x cube cancel. 5x square minus 10x square is negative 5x square. Then the remaining term negative 28x minus 15. Again divide negative 5x square by x. We get the second term of the quotient 5x. Negative 5x. Then multiplying by the divisor negative 5x into x. Negative 5x square. 5x into negative 5x into 5. That is negative 25x. Subtract. While subtracting we get negative of negative 5x square, positive 5x square. That is 0. Then negative 28x minus minus 25x is positive 25x. So it is negative 3x. Then the remaining term negative 15. Again divide negative 3x by x. So negative 3 is the third term of the question. Then multiply negative 3 into x. Negative 3x. Negative 3 into 5. Negative 15. Remainder is 0. On dividing 2x cube plus 5x square minus 28x minus 15 by x plus 5. The question is. Question is 2x square minus 5x minus 3. So factorizing this, factorizing the given polynomial completely, we write the given polynomial equal. The given polynomial 2x cube plus 5x square minus 28x minus 15 is equal to our divisor or the given factor x plus 5 into our question 2x square minus 5x minus 3. Now we want to factorize 2x square minus 5x minus 3. We studied uh, in the 9th class how to factorize 2x square minus 5x minus 3. For that we write x plus 5 into as you know for factorizing 2x square minus 5x minus 3 we find two numbers such that their sum is negative 5 and the product is 2 into minus 3. That is negative 6. Clearly, negative 6 and positive 1 are the two numbers. Their sum is negative 5 and the product is negative 6. Now we split the split negative 5x as negative 6x plus x. Then minus 3 is equal to x plus 5 into. Now we group the terms and take the common term outside. Here 2x square minus 6x become 2x into x minus 3. And here x minus 3 same as x minus 3. And this is equal to x plus 5 into x plus 5 into, here x minus 3 is common, so, you, so we write x minus 3 into 2x plus 1. That is, the factors of the given polynomial are x plus 5, x minus 3 and 2x plus 3. Thus, we factorize the given polynomial completely. Now, question number 3. Using reminder theorem, using reminder theorem, And factor theorem. Factorize. Factorize. 3x cube plus 2x square minus 19x plus 6. Completely. Using reminder theorem and factor theorem, factor is 3x cube plus 2x square minus 19x plus 6 completely. In this question, no factor is given. 
we want to find it first we want to find one factor of the given polynomial for that first we write our f of x our f of x is 3x cube plus 2x square minus 19x plus 6 for finding one factor of the given polynomial using trial method we can find it using trial method for that first we find f of 1 for checking whether x minus 1 is a factor here f of 1 is 3 into 1 cube plus 2 into 1 square minus 19 into 1 plus 6 is equal to 3 plus 2 minus 19 plus 6 clearly which is not equal to 0 therefore x minus 1 is not a factor now f of minus 1 find f of minus 1 3 into minus 1 the whole cube plus 2 into minus 1 the whole square minus 19 into minus 1 plus 6 that is negative 3 plus 2 positive 19 plus 6 clearly it is not equal to 0 so s plus 1 is also not a factor of the given polynomial now find f of 2 f of 2 is 3 into f of 2 is 3 into 2 cube plus 2 into 2 square minus 19 into 2 plus 6 is equal to 3 into 8 plus 2 into 4 minus 38 plus 6 is equal to 24 plus 8 minus 38 plus 6 is equal to 24 plus 8 32 32 plus 6 38 that is 38 minus 38 is equal to 0 here we got f of 2 equals 0 that imply x minus 2 is a factor using trial method we can find x minus 2 is a factor of the given polynomial x minus 2 is a factor of the given polynomial for finding the remaining factors we want to divide the polynomial by x minus 2 divide 3x cube plus 2x square minus 19x plus 6 divide the given polynomial by the factor x minus 2 on dividing we got 3x cube by x 3x square is the first term of the question 3x square into x 3x cube 3x square into minus 2 that is minus 6x square while subtracting we got my 2x square minus minus 6x square it become positive 8x square then the remaining terms negative 19x plus 6 now divide 8x square by x we got positive 8x is the second term of the quotient multiplying by x minus 2 we got 8x square minus 16x while subtracting 8x square minus 8x square 0 then negative 19x minus minus 16x that is positive 16x so it become negative 3x plus 6 again divide negative 3x by x so negative 3 is the third term of the quotient then multiplying by x minus 2 negative 3x plus 6 so the remainder is 0 on dividing on dividing the polynomial by x minus 2 we got the quotient is Quotient is 3x square plus 8x minus 3. So, so we write our polynomial 3x cube plus 2x square minus 19x plus 6 is equal to divisor into x minus 2 into quotient 3x square plus 8x minus 3. Now we want to factorize 3x square plus 8x minus 3. Factorize 3x square plus 8x minus 3 is equal to x minus 2 into 3x square. Here also we 
we want to find two numbers such that their sum is positive 8 and the product is 3 into negative 3 is equal to negative 9. Sum is 8, negative. Sum is 8 and product is negative 9. Clearly, 9 and minus 1 are the numbers. So, we split 8x as positive 9x minus x, then minus 3. That is x minus 2 into group the terms and take the common common term outside. That is 3x is common here. So, 3x into x plus 3. Here, negative is common. So, negative of x plus 3. And in this term, x plus 3 is common. So, we write x minus 2 into x plus 3 into 3x minus 1. That is our polynomial equal x minus 2 into x plus 3 into 3x minus 1. That is x minus 2, x plus 3, 3x minus 1 are the factors of the given polynomial. Thus we factorize the polynomial completely. Now question number 3. Using reminder theorem. Using reminder theorem. Factorize the expression. Factorize the expression. 3x cube plus 10x square plus x minus 6. Hence, solve, solve the equation. Solve the equation. 3x square plus 10x square plus x minus 6 equal to 0. 3x square plus 10x square plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. In this question, first we want to factorize the given expression completely. Then hence solve the equation. In the first part, we want to factorize the polynomial completely. For that, first we write f of x. Our f of x is... 3x cube plus 10x square plus x minus 6. Our f of x is 3x cube plus 10x square plus x minus 6. For factorizing, the, factorizing this expression completely, using trial method, we want to find one factor of the given expression. For that, first we find f of 1. f of 1 is 3 into 1 cube plus 10 into 1 square plus 1 minus 6, that is equal to 3 plus 10 plus 1 minus 6, that is 3 plus 10, 13, 13 plus 1, 14, 14 minus 6 is equal to 8, which is not equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 1 is not a factor. Uh, we want to check another one, f of minus 1. We find f of minus 1. f of minus 1 is 3 into minus 1, the whole cube, plus 10 into minus 1 the whole square plus minus 1 minus 6. This is equal to negative 3 plus 10 minus 1 minus 6. That is negative 3, negative 1, negative 4, negative 4, negative 6, negative 10. That is negative 10 plus 10 is equal to 0. Here we got f of minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, x plus 1 is a factor. Therefore, x plus 1 is a factor. Now, for factorizing completely, we want to divide the given polynomial by x plus 1. Divide on dividing x cube 3 x cube plus 10 x square plus x minus 6 by x plus 1. And dividing we get 3x cube by x, 3x square. Then multiplying by x plus 1, 3x cube, 3x square into 1, plus 3x square. Then subtract, on subtracting we got 3x cube minus 3x cube 0, 10x square minus 3x square, it is 7x square. 7x 
square then the remaining term x minus 6. Again divide 7x square by x. It is positive 7x. Then multiplying by x plus 1. 7x into x is 7x square. 7x into 1 plus 7x. While subtracting 7x square minus 7x square 0. x minus 7x is negative 6x. Then the remaining 10 negative 6. Again divide negative 6x by x negative 6. Negative 6 into x negative 6x. Negative 6 into a negative. On subtracting we got 0 as the remainder. On dividing 3x cube plus 10x square plus x minus 6 by x plus 1. The quotient is the quotient is 3x square plus 7x minus 6. So our polynomial 3x cube plus 10x square plus x minus 6 is equal to x plus 1 into our quotient 3x square plus 7x minus 6. Now we want to factorize the quotient 3x square plus 7x minus 6. For that we find two numbers such that whose sum is 7 and the product is 3 into negative 6 negative 18. The numbers are positive 9 and negative 2. 9 minus 2 7, 9 into negative 2 negative 18. So we split the term 7x as 3x square plus 9x minus 2x minus 6. That is x plus 1 into group the terms and take the common term outside. Here 3x is common so 3x into x plus 3. Here negative 2 is common so negative 2 into x plus 3. Here x plus 3 is common so x plus 1 into x plus 3 into 3x minus 2. So, the factors of the given expression are x plus 1, 3x plus 3 and 3x minus 2. Now, we want to solve the equation 3x cube plus 10x square plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. In the first part, we factorize the polynomial completely. So, 3x cube plus 10x square plus x minus 6 can be written as a product of the factors x plus 1, x plus 3, 3x minus 2. 3x cube plus 10x square plus x minus 6 can be written as product of x plus 1, x plus 3 and 3x minus 2. That is x plus 1 into, uh, that is 3x cube plus 10x square plus x minus 6 equal to 0 imply x plus 1 into x plus 3 into 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. For solving the equation, Put each linear factor is equal to 0. That is x plus 1 equal to 0. x plus 3 is equal to 0. 3x minus 2 equal to 0. If x plus 1 is equal to 0, that means x equal minus 1. If x plus 3 equal 0 means x equal minus 3. And if 3x minus 2 equal 0 means 3x equal 2 and x equal 2 by 3. Thus we find the all values of x satisfying the given polynomial. Thus we solve the equation 3x cube plus 10x square plus x minus 6. Thus today we studied how to factorize a polynomial completely and thus how to uh, solve a given polynomial. Now we wind up this section. We will meet in the next class. Okay, bye.